it's Sean Vaughn and this is my 40 plus life. You all, I am excited because today we start our 13 days of Christmas gifting series. So why 13 you may ask? Well, 13 is actually my favorite number and it is also the date of my birth in February. So I love the number 13. Christmas, who doesn't love Christmas? I love Christmas and I love giving gifts. So that is why I decided to have this 13 days of Christmas leading up to the holidays. I started out last week with three ways that you could DIY a mug and you all loved it and that made me so happy. So if you commented on that video and you are subscribed to my channel, then you will find out who will be the winner of a fabulous marbled mug created by me. So stay tuned to see if you are the winner. So without further ado, today, we are going to DIY our very own designer painting. But wait, 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 wait. Don't worry, I know it may sound hard, but you know if I'm doing it, it has to be super easy. We will actually do a two-toned crushed glass painting as well as a fluid art painting. These painting gifts are perfect for the college student who is looking to add a little pizzazz to their room or for the new apartment or homeowner who is wanting to add some art to their space. And don't be mad if it's in the bathroom, okay? Art is art, right? Wherever it is, it's fine. <laughs> so these will be some great gifts to give away for the season. Now, I do like to add this disclaimer and I'll probably put it in all of my videos. I am not an artist, okay? <laughs> I just simply love to DIY and do craft projects. So whether they turn out beautiful or not so beautiful, they're still great projects that I will enjoy. But I think that today you will really enjoy doing these projects. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and dive on into the first painting project. What you will need something to cover the area you will be working in trust me this paint is hard to remove so make sure you get it covered well a canvas in whatever size you desire i have two because we are doing two projects today so just make sure that you get it in whatever size you like you're going to need two paint colors i am going to use gold and red acrylic paint is what i'm using you're going to need mod podge some crushed glass in the color that you choose. They do come in various colors. A paintbrush and a foam sponge tool thingy, okay? <laughs> okay, I like to add glitter and I'm not sure if I wanna use the red or the gold or the black in this project. So I have just brought out all three. Y'all know I love me some glitter. And finally, I am using a paper plate and this is where I'm going to put my paint. Okay, let's first prep our area with the cloth that we are using to keep it safe. Next, get your paper plate and let's start with the first color and pour a generous amount into your paper plate. So because we are doing the dual color paint canvas, we will only be painting half of the canvas in one color and we'll paint the other half of the canvas in the other color. I literally just eyeball where half of the canvas is. Okay, once you do that, then we're going to start painting. Now, as you can see, the paint goes on fairly thin, so you will definitely need to allow time for your first coat to dry, and then you're going to apply a second coat. And sometimes you may even need to apply a third coat. Now, I will say this, because I am using this paintbrush, I still can kind of see streaks after it dries, but that's okay for me because it gives a little bit more texture to the painting. I also like to paint the sides of my canvas because I never place my canvas in a frame and so painting the sides actually gives it a more finished look to me. 
okay, the first coat is done. I'll let that dry, and then I'm going to come back with a second coat. The good thing about acrylic is it dries pretty doggone fast, y'all. Okay, so once your second coat is done, now we need to move to the other side. So just turn that canvas around, and now I have a different paper plate because I'm adding a different color. My paintbrush is clean, and so now all I got to do is pour my paint into the paper plate and go to work. When you paint the other half, don't worry if your second color overlaps with the first because that overlap will be covered. We're going to cover that middle part. Again, don't forget to paint the sides. We're going to dry, cover with another coat, and let it dry again. Okay, y'all, it's time for the fun part. Look how pretty those colors are, though. That golden red is hot. Okay, so what you're going to do is take your Mod Podge and you're going to pour that Mod Podge down the center. Oh, 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 okay. I poured a little bit too much on one end, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to take my sponge and I'm just going to spread that across the entire canvas. And then what I'm going to do is take the top part of that sponge and I'm going to go back and make I guess you can kind of call these spikes all up and down, up and down, all the way across the board. And you see how it's overlapping for both colors. And that's exactly what we want to do. All right. Now, once you have your spikes <laughs> the way that you want them, now we're going to take that crushed glass and we're going to sprinkle a generous amount of crushed glass on top of the glue make sure that you cover it layer it well because we want as many crushed glass pieces to stick to that glue as possible now just so you know it looks white right now the glue looks white but we use my podge because when it dries it dries clear so you really won't see the white if it's not too clumpy i'll say that uh after it dries okay once you're done putting that crushed glass on there you kind of want to shake it off a little bit to get some of the loose pieces off of there and then this is when I like to take my glitter and put the glitter onto the canvas and remember I couldn't decide if I want to use the red the gold or the black I clearly know now that I want to use the gold in between this so you take your glitter and I just sprinkle that right in the middle going down the line half of that that canvas sprinkle that to give a little extra pizzazz. Okay, it looks pretty darn good. Now is the hard part for me because I want it to be done already, but we have to wait. I actually like to let my canvas dry for about 24 hours just to ensure that everything sets well and the glue dries clear. And voila! We have a beautiful designer. Yes, designer, you designed it right? Uh-huh. We have a beautiful designer painting that anyone would love to have for Christmas. And it was made just by you. Remember, you can do this on any size canvas. And just so you know, here is one that I actually did on a very large canvas. And I did this for my home. And if I do say so myself, it stands out beautifully. It was done great. Now, one tip that I want to leave you with with this project is I would suggest getting a sealer, a gloss sealer, to go ahead and spray over your painting because that'll just give some added security for your glitter and your crushed glass so they don't go anywhere, okay? All right, let's move on to painting number two. Now, this is what they call fluid art painting. I think this is one of the best projects to do with the kiddos because it's so easy. There's no, there's very little technique, I believe, that's involved in this because if I can do it, a kid can do it. <laughs> and I do think that this is an activity that I'm going to do with my nieces when I host our pajama jammy sleepover right before Christmas because I know they'll love doing this. This is also a project that me, my husband, and my son did together as a family during the pandemic. So it's a great family activity as well. What you need for this project is, of course, a canvas, again, in any size that you would like, three plastic cups, 
And then this time you're going to use acrylic paint, but you're going to need three colors to do this fluid art painting. What you want to do is start off by pouring each color of paint into its own plastic cup. Then you want to add a little water and stir it to, stir it in the paint to make the paint a little bit more liquidy. <laughs> of course, this is fluid art, so it needs to be fluid, right? Okay, now you should decide on what your base color will be. And that's the color you will need to paint your entire canvas with. I actually want my canvas to be white so for the first time I'm not going to paint the bottom of my canvas but I definitely suggest that you do I'm just going to leave the canvas white and we're going to see how that works out next you're going to pour each color onto the canvas now here is where the fun part comes into play you can do any kind of pour that you want you can do squiggly lines like how I have you can pour circles of paint onto your canvas where one color is in a big circle and then you come right on top of that circle with another color it all depends on what it is that you want to do just get creative here now once they are all poured you are going to tilt and turn your canvas so that the paint flows in that direction and this will create your fluid abstract art piece now, depending on how you want it to look, this part can take a little time because you may have to keep turning the, the canvas the way that you want it to turn or the way that you want the paint to flow. And as it starts flowing, you will start to see it kind of come into its own. You kind of see the design that it is creating. And if you need to add more paint, feel free to do that. Just pour it on and then that will add to your color depending on how much you're trying to cover your canvas. When you get the desired look you love, you can do like me and add some glitter, honey, and set it aside to dry overnight. Now, I didn't do this, and I'm, I just might now that I'm thinking of it. You can also add some vinyl wording, maybe something that says Joy or Mary or Hosanna, anything like that. And if you have a Cricut machine, that part will be easy to kind of cut those letters out. And I believe that it will give meaning to your masterpiece if you add some type of wording, especially if you're going to give it away as a gift. And I do want to kind of just show you, here is a look at one that I did for my home as well. Okay, y'all, and here you have it. A work of art baby and I did that right <laughs> now I do feel like it's a lot of glitter on here and I probably could have done without some of that glitter and guys when you do get glitter I used a chunkier red just to kind of see how it worked out and I'm not really feeling the chunky glitter so make sure that you get fine glitter for both of these projects because it'll turn out so much better and there you have two easy paintings that will make great Christmas gifts do you plan on doing either of these? If so, please leave me a comment below because I would love to hear if you are going to try either of these paintings at home yourself. And you know what that means? That means that if you comment and you are subscribed to this channel, you will be entered into a giveaway based off of this particular DIY project. Would you like to know what that giveaway is? Of course you do, right? Well, I am going to give away everything that you need to do this particular project. That means that you'll get the canvas, you'll get the paint, you'll get the Mod Podge, a brush and the sponge so you can try either of these projects at home on your own. So you have three days to make a comment, share your thoughts, tell me if you're going to do this project yourself and you will be entered into the giveaway for a prize package to do your own DIY painting project at home. Okay, what you've all been waiting for, and I know you have, who is going to get that customized marbled mug created by Sean Vaughn? I'm going to tell you right now, me and, say hey Destiny, look, say hey. Say hey, <laughs> me and Destiny. So if you commented on my last video 
about the DIY mugs and you are actually subscribed to my channel, you have gone into the drawing pool. And let's go ahead and draw right now. Just want to pick your pot, put your pot in there. You want to put it in? Okay. And here we go. Who is the lucky winner? Oh, can y'all see? I'm telling you. Lucky winner, lucky winner, lucky winner, lucky winner. <laughs> it goes to Joyce Matoyer. <laughs> Congratulations, Miss Matoyer. And all you have to do is just get in touch with me, and I'm going to customize your mug specifically for you, made in the two colors that you like. All right, my people, this was another easy DIY project that anybody can do to get you ready for the Christmas holidays. Even if you don't gift it away, you could enjoy it yourself. My 40 plus life is filled with so many things and crafting is definitely a big part of it. And this is why I am doing the 13 days of Christmas and for the simple fact that I just want to give. Now, if you don't want to miss out on any of the rest of these DIY gift projects and the freebies that come along with it, then you want to make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and that you follow me on Instagram at the Sean Vaughn. That way you don't ever have to worry about missing out on any of the DIYs that are coming out. Now, I will tell you, some of these DIYs will be in video form like you see right now, and then some are just going to be posted in my community on YouTube. So, either way, you're going to get some really cute DIYs. Now, if it's posted in the community, it's going to be very short and quick, okay? <laughs> and it will also be shared with you on Instagram. So, make sure that you Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram so that you don't miss out on any more fun. Guys, I really enjoyed having you watching today. I will see you tomorrow. As always, I am Sean Vaughn, and this is my 40 plus life.